Welcome to Collegium Civitas University. In this video, we'll be guiding you through the campus and showing you the rooms you may need to visit. Let's go! We begin our tour inside of one of Warsaw's landmark buildings, the Palace of Culture and Science. Collegium Civitas occupies floors 9 to 12 in the building. When you enter the palace, you'll have access to cafes, restaurants and convenience stores. You can also buy tickets to enter the viewing terrace on the 30th floor. To go up to the university, you can use either the silver elevators or the golden elevators if your classes are held on the weekends. And here we are. This is the reception area, where you can ask all of your general questions and they will direct you to the right department. Nope. Going to the left from the reception, through the corridor, we can find a printer that you can use. <laughs> also, one quick tip. From Monday to Friday, you can purchase a quick meal from a catering company that shows up at Aula D around 1 p.m. For those who plan to study with us, the admission office will welcome you in room 1210 on the 12th floor. On the same floor, you can also find the Vice Rector for Student Affairs in room 1253. The Vice Rector may be contacted in the case of ideas and initiatives involving students that benefit of the academic community of our university, for example, scientific groups, hobby clubs, theater, parties, and workshops. All matters that cannot be resolved with the student affairs, academic affairs, diploma affairs, and tuition fees and scholarships departments. The need to share reflections and remarks, suggestions, including critical ones, concerning studying and the functioning of the university. Lectures are held in many classrooms on all floors, including four lecture halls found on the 12th floor. Aula A, B, C and D, which are intended for meeting in larger groups. Close to Aula A, there is a meditation room where you can find a quiet space to either meditate or pray. Now let's explore 11th floor. If you're interested in the Erasmus program, make sure to visit room 1148. Right next door, in room 1149, you can find Student and Academic Affairs Office. They will offer the following services. Renewing student ID cards, preparing various types of certificates in Polish and English, accepting student applications and submitting them to the right authorities for decision-making, checking the student's personal file before Tesla's defense and maintaining student's documentation connected with the disciplinary committee. In room 1106, you can find the library where besides borrowing books, students can come to study in peace and silence. If you need help with applying for a job, such as writing your CV and a cover letter, make an appointment at the career center in room 1107. In the next room, 1108, you will find the welcome point, a place where all new students can have their questions answered. You can also find out about issues related to the legalization of your stay in Poland. If you have technical issues during your studies, the IT department will be at your service in room 909. On the ninth floor, you can also use the computer rooms, but be sure to reserve a place in advance using the queue system. Room 934 is where you can find the Payment and Scholarship Department. Here you can clarify issues connected with settlements and financial overdues, submit an application for a scholarship for a high academic and sports achievements, and obtain a financial support on the basis of previously submitted application. A little tip to have in mind. If you ever have trouble finding the floor in which your room is located, just pay attention to the room number. For example, room 1148 starts with the number 11, therefore you should look for it on the 11th floor. And there you have it! That was the virtual tour of Collegium Civitas. If you would like to learn more about our university, please visit our website. 
Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.